Hi, in preparation for treatment of the piriform fossa, I'm going to scan this area to map the position of the vessels. I want to see whether the vessels truly are in the subcutaneous layer or if alternatively they may be sitting on the periosteal layer. My plan is to perform a periosteal injection. This is the most favorable position for filler placement in the deep fatty layer. However, we need to make sure that there is no vessel sitting right there. Increase depth. Good, so here we need more depth. Lovely. So we can see the skin, we can see the hypodermis, superficial fatty layer, we can see a vessel there, likely to be the angular artery. The angulations will change quite a bit as I scan this area. I've increased the size of the color box to allow me to look for vessels within the various layers of the tissues here. We can see the old filler here, the piriform fossa. I'm looking for the presence of a vessel here. Back to the piriform fossa. This is the first place we're going to inject. Now that's interesting, because now we can see. If we go just high near the alar rim, we can see the vessel gets deeper. This we know happens. Now going back right to the piriform fossa, which is here, where my previous filler you can see very clearly, I cannot see a vessel on bone. So I'm happy to inject there using all the other precautions. That's this side. Having scanned the piriform fossa along with the nasolabial fold, we could see the course of the angular artery. The angular artery does not sit on the periosteum and therefore I'm going to proceed to inject the periosteum to lift the piriform fossa and project this region. I still aspirate, although I can feel that the bevel of my needle is firmly on the bone, I still do aspirate. I wait about 10 seconds and then proceed to inject very slowly. And so we have treated that piriform fossa and lifted this to reduce the appearance of a retruded maxilla in here. Okay, do the same here. Aspirate again while keeping the firm stop on the bone. Approximately 0 0.2 mil of filler was injected. And we have a correction of the piriform fossa.